I'm going to die of boredom. <laughs> <laughs> the Ferris wheel was more dangerous than this. <laughs> Better than anything you can get without a prescription. Boo! I'm Josh. <laughs> I'm Nathan. And you're watching new Super Lucky's Tale on Arcade World. Last time, we played some games. And now, we're here to play some more. Ooh, get your fortune read by the teller. Ooh. Using my Mr. Pears, I can read your fate, or at least I could if I hit my crystal board. Some hooligans, more like booligans, tossed it in the wind of the trushkins. Maybe the one that's moving right there. Uh-huh. If you find it, I'll give you a ticket. <laughs> I just rushed up. Grabbed your crystal ball and threw it in the trash. How do you know they threw it in the trash without knowing which trash can they threw it in? Maybe they told her. Like, hey, hey, we stole your crystal ball and threw it in the trash. (laughs) What a jerk. Can I just do this for money? Oh, it's one of these. Flip, I flew. Flip, I flip. What? Lucky, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude! What are you doing? Ooh. Stop jumping out! It's like an excited bike. I love excited bike. It's actually super fun. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that happened. Okay. All um, right. That's like the slides they have at carnivals, where you pay like ten dollars to go up this giant slide and slide down. What a waste of money. Oh, there's a trash can to the left of that place. Thank you. That's what I'm looking for. This is unbelievable. I just read it super fast from Masubi, that's what he said. <laughs> It'll be like a trash can hiding in the outskirts of town somewhere. <laughs> You're like, why do they need a trash can here? I've got to believe that there's one out ah, here. there it is. It wasn't that one. Dang. It's time to ask a question. What is the question? A question for you, a question for me, a question for all of you watching at home. Ooh. It's about dates. Ooh. Do you like them pitted or do you like them not pitted? Oh, what's this? Oh, I guess that's the that word. What the? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, no. The hooligans are they're coming for me. Oh, no. Uh, what, what do I do? Oh, no. Oh, gosh. There's... A, there's mm-hmm. another hooligan. Oh my. Oh man. So oh. scary. Oh gosh. Watch out for the oh, dude oh, at the oh, side. <laughs> okay, that guy was, that was scary. <laughs> he was unassuming. He's like, I'm just a normal guy. Scythe! <laughs> <laughs> Dates, dude. Yeah? Are you? Or are you guys at the audience? Crap, man. Oh, he's totally touching my tail. Personal space. I have your thing. Oh, for you. How much better, it's so clear now, I'm getting a vision of you receiving a ticket, amazing, Ah, yeah. oh, wow. Like, what do you prefer? Romantic date? Fun date? Ooh. Like, you know, I think, obviously they're both good in their own regard, but still, like, what do you think you'd prefer? Oh, I'm going out with this person I like, and we're going out to, like, a carnival, and we're gonna play games and have fun, and blah, 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 blah. Or is it gonna be, you know, I'm going with her and I'm taking her to the first place I met her, the first place we ever went on a date, and we're gonna reminisce about good times. You know Mm. what I mean? Yeah, I get you. So between fun and sentimental romantic, what do you guys think? Vote in the poll above. Uh, I, I think you need a balance of both. Personally. Exactly. One that's fun and whatever. Or just different ones that are different. Oh, you actually got it. Oh, that's what... <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, kid, but those are uh, bedlam boxes. I'm asking with the action. What was I supposed to do? You're supposed to break the bedlam boxes. How? <laughs> no, I can't fly up there and take the boxes down. It goes hovel. We can't fly. Big difference, kid. But I was just there and I was smashing. Did you smash the smashy thing on the top? There was a smashy There thing. was a smashy thing. <laughs> <laughs> what would you consider a romantic date? Oh, this? Yeah. What's an idiot? Wow. Why? Why was that a thing? Wait, how'd you get up there? You can't fool me. That cape and that smile. You're a superhero! Heck yeah, dude. Plus Ultra and sh- <laughs> I mean, no! Oh. 
still didn't get the Y. Yeah, I know, but I, I thought I would have had to been that high to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh money! Oh, oh, it's just oh. raining down! Okay, I'm collecting it somehow. But what about the ticket? Eh, <laughs> uh, that's fine. Okay. I'm know. gonna give it to somebody else. <laughs> what do you consider a romantic date? Romantic date? Well, hmm. Romantic date is that classic look into each other's eyes and stare off into the galaxies that are within your souls. That's what you'd want to do? A uh, romantic date? No, I'm, I'm not just... not asking what's... I'm saying you. What, what do you do think? What do I want? What would you do? In a romantic date? Yeah, assuming stereotypically you're taking the reins. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I'm not saying it can't be any other way, but that might be how you do it. What would you do? Ooh. What do you think she would she would like? Would you serenade her? Oh no! Get oh. a guitar and be like, I love you. Oh gosh, no! Like, the, <laughs> like you're the breath in my lungs. I love you like a cheeseburger. <laughs> She's like, thank, th thanks, I guess. No, definitely no. Romantic date? I don't know if I could survive on a romantic date, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I would hold her hand. While you're eating? That's tough. Not while we're eating, just like while we're walking places and on rides and stuff. <laughs> just ruin everything. She's going to eat and you hold her hand that has the fork. It's just like, I'm trying to eat. Like, oh, <laughs> baby, I just want to hold your hand. Well, I, I want to eat. Then I'll feed you. <laughs> I mean, hey. That that's romantic. Could be. Oh, the big top. Line them up and knock them down. Hit all the tights without running out of ammo to win. Just pounce that star to touch. <laughs> <laughs> Leopard. Yeah, the leopard couldn't hear. <coughs> Super sad. Can't hear no more. I don't care anymore. Spin it! Ah, oh, you failed. I did. Whooping! Eh. Eh. Not timed, are you? Eh. Eh. It is so much fun. Eh. 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 More ammo. Oh, wow. Eh. Have you ever played uh, carnival uh, games? I think so. Really? Have you not? I'm just saying, you're definitely the type to not spend money on carnival games. No, they were free. <laughs> oh, they were? Where did you go to find free carnival games? Church. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. That's the place I spend all my time. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess. Just getting candy for carnival games. I, I meant like if you go to like some sort of amusement park, you know? Heck no. Those things are such a rip off. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, the only carnival game I would actually play is, like, one of those that, like, you're guaranteed to win. Mm. Like, if you lose or if you win, you get something. That's a good point. Like, I've heard that at Six Flags, like, if you do, like, this weird rope race with your friends, you'll both get a DC Comics cape. And, like, the winner will get a shiny, nice-looking one, and the oh. loser just gets a regular one. That's awesome. I'm like, I would definitely do that. Yeah, I would pay win. somebody to go and do that for me so I could get myself a cape. Uh, I mean, I was with somebody. Come on in and test yourself if you meant you morally and whack them all. Morally? <laughs> if you don't hit them, you win. I was with some guy and he, he did all that. Yeah. And then when he came home and his parents were picking him up, uh, they were like, how much did you pay for that cape? He's like, it's fun. He's like, they, were, they said, you probably could have got it for like three bucks on Amazon or something. <laughs> ah, like, them people. Eh, I mean, they're not wrong. <laughs> they're not wrong, but there's, it's the fact of being able to buy it while you're there. Yeah. I, yeah you hit them. Kill them. Do it 15 times. Do it. No, I don't know. Because there is a bit of being, hey, you, you should be more mindful with your money if we're going to a carnival or whatever we're already spending tons of money there that's the point so you don't have more money to spend. my point is like with it matters who you're with if you're with a kid yeah. who has parents and that sounds very dark but and they have an allowance or something or they're making their own money yeah. but they're taken care of by their parents 
whatever. They can spend their money on whatever. What is the right I promise you the prize. Oh, you got exactly 15? I guess so. Dang, I thought you needed like... I think it just more. ended when I got 15. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, once you become an adult and you have bills to pay and mouths to feed, then it becomes a whole thing of... Is it responsible for me to spend too much money? And that's where the parent mentality comes in of telling your kids why you do that. Because I want to instill in you that when you're older, you're not going to be able to do that crap. Step right up, step right up. We're in a woozy doozy for a game for you. Why is it's got sneeze? barrels, monkeys, barrels of monkeys, science fiction, pirates, cowboys, dragons, and underwater palace filled with zombie giant ninjas. <laughs> zombie science! You won't believe your eyes. It better have all that stuff <laughs> or I will kill somebody. <laughs> well, hello there, little folks. Not quite the game you were expecting. Or perhaps your eyes are just playing tricks. <laughs> It seems your heroic rush to see the finale through has led you straight into this plot twist. You won't see the zombie giants or the pirates. <laughs> oh no! Don't look so sad. We have all our roles to play. I'd be a poor villain to let a chance like this slip by. You seem fond of games. This one's all about survival. Do watch your step. Some of the dangers here are very real. You <laughs> could literally die. Oh no, I'm going to die of boredom. <laughs> <laughs> the Ferris wheel was more dangerous <laughs> than this. <laughs> Truly, it was. <laughs> That's no joke. You can't trick me to take it. Oh, okay, I guess I'll take it. These are weird looking bees. Yeah, these are Darth Maul bees. Yeah. Demon spawn bees. They shoot more than one stinger. And they belong in doom. No, I don't need that. <laughs> oh, 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 gosh. That was a lot of jangly poop poop. You know what I mean? Better than what? jangly poop poop. Oh, gosh. I'm just saying. Why are you saying? Jeez, talk about technical difficulty. I'm so sorry about that. The game's out of order until further notice. Please take this ticket as an apology. We're uh, not responsible for any injuries sustained by the fifth dimension. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> wow. I'm so sad. Oh, I guess we did everything. We're done. Yeah, we're good. Okay, it's time to get to say a bit au revoir to the carnival. Ah, uh, already. It was just only only two episodes long. It was you? so much fun. What does the ghost of Naruto say? What? Believe it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know you have the stuff, kid. Here's that train pass and a fancy clover page for being a good sport. Push A. Come on, come on, live it up. We're all dying for the looks slamming around here. You want more puns? Too bad, get out of here. Ugh, can I please find Giovanni <laughs> and get out of these clothes? I mean, and get other clothes? I got more than. Holy crap, I got 900 from a 300 zone? Dang. <laughs> That's what happens when they give you so much stuff and, and you die halfway through and half of it responds. That's true, unless they take my money. Mm. I never know. Buzzkill stingers hurt. Send them back with a tail swipe. You can do that. Thank you. That was okay. That that was actually a really helpful hint for once. Oh my gosh, I finally did it. And I feel great in this dress. A little breezy, but that's fine. Four, three, two, one. What? That was it. We can, we we can, can kill drinks now. That, yep, that's it for hotting him. Oh, we have to take the train to get to him. Yep. Where's Giovanni, man? You know what time it is, though? What time is it? Oh, the guy has a quest? <gasps> he does. It's time to do this. Ew! <laughs> nobody likes puzzles! <laughs> the only good thing about puzzles is because we get to plug- Oh, hey! Greetings, Vix and Victor! Once again, we meet you on the battlefield of science! Third study subject familiarity with being briefly imprisoned in time all is not caused the mental breakdown initially expected. Disappointing. Current outcome, unpredictable. 
Did she speak English at all? Yeah. You didn't understand any of that? No. <laughs> other than, I wish I would have killed you by squishing your brain into nothingness, but I don't think I did. It's time to use motion controls, except not. <laughs> You're welcome for giving you your regular clothes back. Oh, yeah. Wait. That's a good point. Huh? How are those tiny tacks penetrating this here ball? Oh, and I'm dead. And you're dead. I win! Do I have to get every coin? Yes, you do. Oh, art. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow. Whoa. Ah, ah, son of Where's the extra hearts? We need more help. No, 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 no. Meow. Wow. Meow. <laughs> Why? Why is she, how is she just like floating in the clouds in the middle? Science. Oh! Um, failure! Mother fuck! Mm. I thought Tess was turning her head in the direction I was farting! <laughs> Ew! Ew! You're supposed to turn away, not towards. You got this. I believe in you. Do you believe in me? Hmm. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Victory has been obtained. <sighs> Wasn't that much more fun than an actual puzzle, though? Yeah. Oh, it was better. Let's just say that. I've always wanted to go to a solder park. I hear they have slides. <laughs> Third attempt complete. Note to self, consider inspiration, aka heavily borrow all of analyzed prototype puzzles. What? Starting from scratch will impede progress. You know, I already have her blueprints on hand. Who's Anna Lid? I don't know. Analytical? Mm. That's the <laughs> pun. Oh, I got my dress back. Thank <laughs> goodness. Can't be seen without it. Meow. <laughs> I regret ever buying this dress. I love collecting things like insults from my friends. <laughs> yeah, that's all the time we have for today. Join us next time where we go on the train and talk to this guy with the exclamation point above. Oh, he's the magical mystery man. Thank you so much for watching. Like and comment again. Subscribe and everything you do to get us beaten all them kind of games. Moral of the story is when you're going out on a date, it's safe to go ahead and explain whether it's going to be a fun date or a romantic date. Watch this. Ha, 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 ha.